double-A. You're looking at Jeff Mirabella and Andy Gardner. Mirabella in the maroon suit from Springfield, uh, from Elgin, rather. And Andy Gardner in the singlet that's uh, black with the stripe from Springfield last year. Both these fellas are undefeated, so this is a battle of the Titans at 112 pounds. Mirabella, the winner in the 98 class uh, last year at State. Gardner won 105 at State last year. So this should be a honey of a match. Gardner with the first scoring opportunity, trying for a single leg takedown at the edge of the mat, and they'll bring it back to the center. With the stripe, that is Gardner. Arabella on top right now. Gardner third at 98, and he beat Mirabella for third. That was two years ago. Both these wrestlers among the best in the state. Mirabella has just great hip action, tremendous athletic ability. Um, some say maybe the best they've ever seen in an underclassman here in the state of Illinois. Under a minute to go. I'm sorry, Rob. Uh, 45 seconds to go here in the first period. Still no scoring. There's a good look at Mirabella. He is a junior, Gardner a senior. Gardner also a tremendous record and coached by his father, Jim Gardner, who's in his corner right now. Coach Rogan, this is uh, Steve Salisbury. 30 seconds to go here in the first period. And neither wrestler has scored. Mirabella tried to score with a headlock there. Gardner just has great balance to counter it. brings it back to the center as they carried off the boundary of the mat. 15 seconds here, first period, no scoring. And now we get the first two points and they go to Mirabella. Mirabella with a single leg, switched off to a body lock, got the takedown. Now at the end of the first period, they will flip a uh, coin. They're doing that right now. And Mirabella gets the choice right here, although we're going to have a bit of a time because Gardner has come up with a bloody nose. Let's talk about... Uh, let's talk about... Let's talk about the coin flip and, and the uh, choice of position. In the second period, the official flips a coin, and the uh, it's a red and green coin that uh, designated for the two wrestlers. The wrestler whose choice comes up has the choice to either start the second period at the top, bottom, or neutral positions, or else to defer the choice to his opponent. His opponent then must choice. Let's take a look here at uh, how Gardner came up with the bloody nose. Looks like Gardner just hit his head right there on the mat and was stunned just for a second. Back to action here as uh, Mirabella gets two more points as we begin the second period. Reversal right off the bat to start the second period. Mirabella always been very aggressive. He likes to force the action. Now he's looking for a tilt for more points. He's already up four to nothing. I know there are always going to be arguments of whether you want to start on the top or on the bottom. Now we get an escape. Uh, what is that, one point now for Gardner? That's correct. Mirabella elected to start both up because Gardner is just a magician on the mat. The worst thing you want to do is start on the bottom against Gardner because you may not get up. Talk about the differences in choosing whether you start up, down, or neutral. Well, if you're good on the mat, the chances are you might want to start in the top position so that you can ride your opponent and try to turn him. If you're good at getting out and getting an escape and then going on your feet, you'll probably take the bottom because you can get in a point for escape. If you want to avoid being on the mat with your opponent altogether, you'll probably choose both up as you're down to there. And another takedown. Arabella with a 6-1 to one lead over Gardner. Under a minute to go here in the second period. Remember, three two-minute periods. Now we got a stalling call against Gardner. No penalty yet. Three takedowns so far for Mirabella. Very, very difficult to be on his feet. 
Yeah, and look, they, watch how he's just moving Gardner around. They gave Gardner another escape point, so it's now 6-2 to two with 30 seconds to go. You'll see the officials have uh, armbands or wristbands with the red and the green. Each wrestler is assigned to a corner. They also have the leg straps that show which corner it is. It's simply to... For scoring purposes, the scoreboard put up the red and green. Simply allows the crowd at the uh, scorer's table to see which wrestler is being awarded points. And Mirabella has the red anklet on, and you can see that uh, Gardner's got the green one on, so that explains that. Ten seconds to go, second period. Mirabella with a 6-2 lead over Gardner. Both off the bat with six ticks left on the clock. Mirabella just has that combination of, of great motion and, and uh, aggressiveness. It's just very difficult to get a good shot at him. Well, if Gardner's going to do it, he's got two minutes to try, and he trails by four points, six to two. Gardner has selected the top position for the third period, and you can see why he's done it. He really hasn't been able to stay with Mirabella on his feet. The mat is where he's, he scores most of his points. He's going to try to do what he does best right here. All right, underway in period number three. Jeff Mirabella, right now he is in the maroon on the bottom, and Andy Gardner from Springfield Lanphier. The lion is in the black with the orange stripe. A minute 30 to go now. Gardner just trying to get up to his base, now trying to stand up. Gardner looking for that uh, tilt, the same kind that we saw Walsh use. A minute 15 left in the match. And the official breaks them. The official will break them for several reasons. A potentially dangerous hole, nobody's getting anything accomplished. Any other reasons? Those are, the main, those are the main two. We're trying to emphasize action in the sport. And uh, if no significant action is occurring, the rest the referee will stop the wrestlers, bring them back to their feet. Six to two. Mirabella on the bottom with the lead. Andy Gardner trying to score in the final minute five. Remember, both these fellas are undefeated. Both are defending state champions. Only the fourth meeting, well, the fourth meeting in the last two years between defending champions. And that's only happened three times in the previous 50 years. 45 seconds to go. Six to two. Gardner trails. He is on top. Gardner trying to turn him for points. Mirabella just doing such a good job of keeping keeping his hips down, even though it doesn't, he's really not trying to escape right now. He's just trying to stay out of trouble. Gardner gets a stalling warning, and that means a point for Mirabella, so it's seven to two. It's the last thing Gardner needed when he's down four points with 30 seconds to go. That's true, although I have to say that Gar Mirabella really wasn't trying to escape there. I thought the stall warning might have gone the other way. Wondered about that myself. It's 20 seconds left, and it looks like Jeff Mirabella has got his second state championship. Other being things, all other things being equal, the good wrestler on the feet will usually beat the good wrestler on the mat. And that's what happened here. Jeff Mirabella, the winner at 112. Let's shift over now to the Class A. We've got Jason Gonski from Kankakee and Thad Davidson from Litchfield.